a day of meetings and a surprise visit in France. World leaders gathered in Biarritz for the G7 summit. On the agenda, conversations about trade, Brexit and the environment not on the agenda. An unexpected visit by Iran's top diplomat. CTN's Stefan de Vries is in the French coastal town. Stefan, what is the latest there? Well, it was a busy day indeed, and as you mentioned, there were talks about uh, climate change and more importantly about assisting the countries in the Amazon rainforest, helping them to fight the uh, uh, devastating wildfires taking place there now. Um, there were also talks about Russia, about North Korea, um, but the surprise guest was actually the Iranian uh, foreign minister. He flew into Biarritz unannounced. He was invited by host country France, but uh, interestingly enough, the other G7 partners were not informed about this meeting. Uh, the Iranian foreign minister then had a meeting with his uh, French counterpart for three hours and half an hour with the French president Emmanuel Macron. But there were no details about the outcome uh, of this improvised visit. So, Stefan, how are the two key issues of global trade tensions and Brexit from the EU going to be resolved? Well, of course, uh, trade tensions are the hot topic uh, of this G7 summit. Um, and this morning, uh, Donald Trump, when asked by a reporter about the trade tariffs uh, against China, he said that he had second thoughts. So uh, that led us to believe that he may well have changed, has changed his opinion about uh, the tariffs that he wants to impose on China. But later uh, during on Sunday, the White House actually said that what Donald Trump meant, that was, that was he regretted the fact that he didn't impose high higher tariffs on China. So um, it's not very clear what the Donald Trump actually wants with these trade tariffs. But well, uh, it is, of course, on the table here in Biarritz. And then on the second topic on Brexit, well, uh, not much has changed. Uh, the British Prime Minister uh, today in an interview, he hinted at a no deal Brexit. Uh, the European countries, they want to uh, maintain the Irish backstop, a sort of guarantee that there will be no hard border between Ireland and the UK. Boris Johnson said that this is unacceptable, so nothing has changed. So one thing is sure that in two months from now, the UK will ha have left the European Union. Now, the summit will continue on Monday with trades on uh, talks on climate change and biodiversity uh, and also about digital transformation, uh, transformation. So that's on the agenda tomorrow here in Biarritz. We'll keep an eye on the summit. Thanks so much. Uh, Stefan de Vries reporting from G7 in France.